Hi guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to give my condolences to Edna from Edna's World. If you guys didn't know, my friend Edna, who I actually got to meet for the first time last month, and her husband Al and her son, um, Al passed away a few days ago. Um, he lost his battle with cancer. Even though I've communicated with her and gave her my condolences, I just wanted to do something here to let her know that we love you and we're thinking of you. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. And when we all went out to eat and was talking and Al, I mean, you can read people. He was a very sweet soul, I can tell. And just the way they were with each other and you can just tell the love was there and it was genuine and he was so sweet and kind to her and she was sweet to him and he's very intuitive also and I say that because we were discussing some things I'm not going to say it here but he picked up on something and I'm like wow I didn't think I said that you know for him to know what I was thinking or how I was feeling but yeah in just a short time you know i got to know what type of person he was and his character and i just got nothing but good positive vibes from the nelson family and it was an honor to get the opportunity to have met him and also see etna for the first time meet her as well but i just wanted to come on here and just say our prayers are with you we're thinking of you um, draw strength from God above. He will give you the strength that you need. And yeah, we love you. We love you. Let us know if you need anything. Oh, and also I remember I will put a link down below to, they have a GoFundMe account. I'm gonna donate as well. Um, just not right now because somebody has an expensive birthday. I remember to put that link down below. I will. If not, you can go to Edna's World onto the blog. Good morning, everyone. Excuse all this. I just woke up but it's Friday, it's the 30th of October, which means it's my baby girl's birthday. Yes, today is Savannah's birthday, and it's early, everyone's off today, so we have plans for her today, and I'm going to make her a vegan breakfast here at home, and bring it to her and get the day started. I'll change all this, trust me. Okay, so here we have just egg, it's made from plants, so that's the egg. And this is Smart Bacon, also made from plants. Um, going to do her a blueberry bagel. And I don't know if I'm going to use the dairy-free cream cheese or the dairy-free butter. See, it's vegan. So I'll figure it out, but I'm gonna make her a breakfast. <laughs> Birthday! Ew. Ew! No, you're beautiful. I made you your vegan breakfast. I you were like a mess. I you just don't look here. a mess. <laughs> Tell everyone, hey, so everyone can say happy birthday to you. Hey, here's your breakfast. So Savannah doesn't like icing, and so she literally took the icing off her cupcake. It's not a vegan thing. That's a Savannah thing. If icing right there, because she was eating like around it. So anyway. This is the start of her birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Savannah. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candle, my 19 year old. And many more. Okay. We're gonna do this again later, so. <laughs> Look who's with us today. We never see her. Y'all never see her, at least. She, sm see she smiles. So Savannah's getting a build a beer. You can add a smell? Yes. So, uh, all right. Savannah, are you happy? Mm. <laughs> I love your little outfit. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is there a reason we're coming in today? Uh, no, not really. It's her birthday. It's her birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday! How old are you? 19. Yes! <laughs> Never too old for a stuffed animal, right? Never. I'm 19. I work here. <laughs> so we are at Lazy Dog. 
and you can scan the menu right here with your phone that way we can look up the specials for the day here is Cheyenne isn't she beautiful <laughs> you guys never see her say hey <laughs> and here's the birthday girl hey <laughs> so Savannah got a Red Bull and no, this is not alcoholic <laughs> cucumber time. And then Cheyenne got something about what did you get? Uh, the Jamaican lemonade. Jamaican it's orange pineapple pomegranate. We didn't ask for sweet sour. <laughs> Coconut milk soda and lime. Yeah, that's what's in it. I don't do Red Bull. What's that new screen movie called? Um, come play. So here is the appetizers, calamari and brown rice. Mm -hmm. yeah, jump on it. I know. Yeah, I thought yeah she, just, I thought they just meant jump like on it. Like this. Savannah got the veggie burger. Cheyenne got ribs, and I got Thai noodles. It has been a long day, and Savannah. It's not even over yet. And it's not even over yet. Savannah made out like a bandit. So, do you want to tell them what you got? You can. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to do it. So you guys, oh right, wow, like you're gonna interrupt me? So she got a camera, so you can start doing stuff for your channel. Maybe, I don't know, no, okay. Anyway, so she got a Canon camera. She got a tripod, YouTube scares you, okay. She got AirPods, and then a SD card. Yeah, I told me at the camera stand, I think camera stand, and over here, Go ahead, open it up. Okay. Oh, you want to show me your burger? <laughs> she got a veggie burger. Beyond Beef burger. <laughs> She's so okay, excited. Build-A-Bear. Yes, you guys seen. She got a Build-A-Bear, yes. Ugh, Hurry, battery's flashing. Mm, okay, so I got this one. And I didn't put them all my way because I was rushing. But and she named her. It's freaking boots. <laughs> I, um, I got boots on. What is this? Okay, can we worry about that later? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I got this outfit, but that's not like tall. Oh, trust me, she's way more bougie than that. She's um, way more bougie. bougie. Um, I got this because I like thought it was cool. Even though it's boys, I think it's whatever. And I got this because I like the top. Maybe yeah. I'll put it on. But and the hat's kind of cute. Like look how dope that is. Um. And it's like a little tie thing. She's also wearing boxers. Um, <laughs> yeah, she got boxers for I her to wear. Oh, I got a brush for it too. Oh, it smells. There's a song and there's a heartbeat. Um, and there's a brush. I can show that later. There's a birth certificate, but we're not showing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, she named her. You're D not gonna. You're she not named her Dior. Why. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what? Let me change the battery. Okay, we're back. Go ahead. Good. So you can take your time. Copyright. It's Riptide by Vance Joy. And then there's a heartbeat. Well, they can't feel the heartbeat. But she put a heartbeat in there. You can it, hear it. It like, pulse. like pulses when she hugs it. It's, it's a heartbeat. Same thing. I got some, some shirts. From Hot Topic, one of her Babies. favorite store. Um, this is a Marilyn Manson hoodie. Um, this is a new Nirvana shirt, a Gorilla shirt. Um, That's really not showing them what you got, but okay. I'm telling them. Not okay. Show. Give me the no, no, it's okay. okay. <laughs> There's a um, Bring Me the Horizon shirt. This is Oliver Tree. Um, and that bright light right over there is not a light, it's a clock. I can turn it down. Yeah, because it's like glaring in their eyes. Okay. Now um, they can see you. This one is a, um, oh, this is from um, Spirited Away. Mm, there's a dress. Okay, I actually want to show them the dress because I think it's really super cute. Really super cute. Like, totally super cute. Is this themed? Because you know how sometimes Hot Topic is themed for movies and shows? So this is not? No. Okay. Anyway, I just like how this is made. And it's super cute. And I also got another dress. She got another dress. There's a cute little, like, those collar things here. Is that and you can take them off if you want to. Yeah. Um. Oh, does it have pockets? It has pockets. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Okay. So put this back in here. And we're gonna 
leave it on my floor for about a week until I get ready to wear them. She really is. <laughs> um, She's super excited. And then I got these, okay, I gotta be honest, I saw, I saw some TikTokers wearing these. Um, and I thought they were really sick. Wait, hold up, hold up, it's blurry. Okay, yes. So I've seen these on TikTok. This is my <laughs> very first time saying this. I've seen these on TikTok. And um, I thought they were sick. So I, um, so I got some. Oh, Can you show them? Instead of just showing them the top of the shoe? They're like platform converse. Yeah, they're actually cute. And they look really good really on her. Cute. Um. I'm, and I'm also not like a shoe person either. Like, unless they're like, you know how people are like really picky about shoes? Like, I just like, like if they look cool, I'm gonna get them. Like, yeah, nothing's I'm wrong not with like that. A shoe person. I just get look cool. And then, oh, and I got some socks. <laughs> I got some socks. Um, they're like wool. I'm gonna tell you, silly. Like, <laughs> I got me some Doc Martens. Um, She's been wanting these forever. Like years. And I can change the laces. Um, there's like different meanings for different laces. I'm not sure if you know that. And different like the colors. Um, yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but I got the yellow ones. And they're, this one has like an extra platform on it. These are really cool, really dope, pretty fun, fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we're going to the movies tonight to see Come Play? Yes. Yes. And I probably have to bring my own snacks, huh? Unless I get like Twizzlers or something, right? Right. I got those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, yes, very expensive okay. birthday. That restaurant that we went to, the Lazy Dog, it was our first time going there. And it's because we searched up vegan restaurants near me. And we thought it was like a completely vegan restaurant, but no, it had vegetarian options, but the burger that Savannah got, it was more vegan. She just took out the cheese and mayo and it was disgusting. She said, I didn't taste it. And the ribs that Cheyenne got, I did taste it. It tasted like plastic. It was disgusting. I liked their meal and they didn't want to say anything. So I just told them that they just took that off the ticket. Mine was actually pretty good. I got that Thai noodles or whatever. It was good and she brought some like spicy sauces that made it even better. So anyway, they ended up getting free dessert, but not Savannah because they didn't have any vegan option. So the Lazy Dog out by the Roseville Galleria. Um, have you been there or have you been to a Lazy Dog restaurant? Maybe it's just the items that we got, but we weren't impressed. And even though the food that I got was good, I'm still not impressed and I don't think I'd, I'll be back. Hey guys, so we are back home. It's after midnight and we seen the movie called Come Play. Had a lot of jump scares. I thought it was pretty good. I won't give any spoilers in case you guys go see it, but yeah, it came out today and in we went to the movie theater and I actually felt safe, you guys. I think it's our movies have been open up for maybe a couple weeks now, less than a month. So when you buy your tickets, whoever's in your party, like it was me, Cheyenne and Savannah, whoever was at the end, two seats, and then they will seat the next party, which I'm like, okay, I felt safe with that. But because we went to a late showing, we had the whole roll free, but they did have some bad kids in there they were like teenagers preteens i don't know they came in causing a ruckus being loud and i'm like somebody get their kids and then i guess the dad or older brother whatever came in and he said uh-uh what y'all doing our seats are down there i'm like don't come sit by us but they didn't oh i think they're in the dishwasher they're clean so anyway, um, halfway through the movie, they started moving around and you heard all this noise and they were like jumping or whatever. I don't know what they were doing. And some, I'm glad someone got the security guard and that whole little family got escorted out. I'm like, good. It annoys me so much when people are in the theaters and they're loud and they're just being, it's like, we're all paying this money to see this movie in peace and to be able to enjoy it. That's just one of my pet peeves. Anyway, so Savannah is playing with her toys, as she said earlier. She's getting her camera set up and everything. So, yeah. 
I'm a professional now. You're, she's a professional now, she said. Mm -hmm. Official. It's official. She's a professional. All right, and um, mm -hmm. even though it's late, we're still gonna be up a little bit. It's not her birthday anymore, technically, nope. but I did make her a, a vegan cake. It was supposed to be totally vegan, this brand that we got. This one has dairy in it, even though oh, we right. put yeah. substitute yeah. egg or whatever, and yeah, we didn't see it before, but I still made it. It's in the oven, so we'll see. And the mixture, the texture was just really different, but I don't know, we'll see. So, yeah, it's hot. Savannah's taking pictures of her birthday cake with her camera. And this is her vegan birthday cake. Oh, wow, that's cool. Three candles, cause that's all we have. Yeah, three times whatever. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay, Shine's asleep, so I'm gonna sing just me? Yes. Okay, y'all, I can't sing. Y'all right. know this already, so. Ready? Wait, wait, nope. One. Okay, hurry up. Okay. Don't, you're gonna take a picture of me? Oh my gosh. Sorry. I can't see. Don't make me have a seizure. That's not funny. Stop. Wait, sorry, hold on. Okay, you ready? No, hold on. Oh my gosh, Savannah. Cheyenne. See? Where's the pink? Never mind. We're singing happy birthday to me. We're singing happy birthday. There we go. Are you getting up? No? Okay. Ready? Yes. Oh, gosh. They can't see you. Hold on. Flash on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Savannah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and many more. Really? <laughs> okay, Hi guys. So it's Saturday and we're leaving Walmart. Where's Savannah? I keep a bottle of hand sanitizer in the car to use it when I get back in. Did I say today was Saturday? Today's Halloween, the day after Savannah's birthday. They can't see you. <laughs> you don't want them to see you? Okay. Okay, anyway, so she has on her Freddy Krueger sweater. You guys know we don't celebrate Halloween. So I like the Halloween season, pumpkin, it's fall. I know they can't see you, Where okay. Where is the light coming from? Behind? Behind you. See right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just keep your hand right there. Anyway. The sweatshirt I have on today, it says that's not my problem. And I love it, and I forgot I had it. I bought it last winter, I know it is hot. I bought it last winter and I had to take the tag off today. Anyway, um, we are off. We've already been to a few stores. I'm looking at my backup camera, there's a lot of cars behind us. What's wrong with you? I've been doing that, I think it's because my, um, my the bangs. Oh, like you think it's like a spider, tickling. like something know. tickling just, you? I keep getting shivers. Every she got I the that. shivers and was like, Ugh. I've been doing that for like, since I cut them. I noticed that. So I think that's she the She cut the culprit. bangs and... I think that's the culprit. Okay. You got, they can see you now. Okay. Okay, so it's much later and as you can see, we are home. So tonight is Halloween, like I told you guys earlier, I think. And I didn't think I had to worry about people ringing my doorbell. I had my porch light on and everything, whatever. And then all of a sudden, ding dong. And we heard these kids, you know, outside. And I'm like, what in the world? I thought there was no trick or treating. I know each county, each state has different rules and guidelines or whatever. But I didn't think people would be coming, ringing the doorbell. So we just turned the front porch light off so like we do every year because we don't participate in it so yeah anyway so we are actually about to have movie night which the funny thing is movie night in our house is probably every night or every other night or whatever but we're gonna watch scary movies and we have popcorn and snacks and yeah just enjoy the rest of the hello evening. everyone today is monday and yes i'm still at home um, my quarantine days are over, so I'm fine and whatever. I am just waiting. We all are just waiting to be called back in. 
So anyway, it is four o'clock. I'm just now picking up the camera, but I did film, edit, and upload a short video today. Today is the day before election, but even though you guys will probably see this after the election, so we will probably already know who is president <laughs> by the time you guys see this video. Yeah, just sitting here, I am doing a whole lot of nothing actually. Actually, I was very productive today. I got a lot of things taken care of and did a lot of stuff on the computer and whatnot. So now I'm finally sitting down, relaxing, about to try to find a movie to watch and that's it. And with this time change, you guys, oh my goodness. So last night it was like maybe 5.30 it felt so late. I thought it was like eight or nine. This time change, I mean, I'm glad we gained an hour, but it just makes you feel like it's so late. So it's only seven o'clock, but it feels so late, you guys. So late. Let me turn my TV down, because I got something to tell y'all. It's no big deal. It's not like it's exciting news. I mean, it's exciting to me, but you guys know how I always I'm looking for a project. <laughs> well, I know I said I was gonna do my backyard and I'm still gonna do it, but I've put it on hold for now because the things that I wanna get done, it's gonna be quite pricey. And I only wanna do it one time and I want it done right. So I'm just going to save up the money. So that's gonna be put on hold for now. If you guys didn't know, I'm sure most of you do, I have a mini fridge in my room. And no, I didn't buy a mini fridge just to go in my room. And if I did, nothing's wrong with that. Anyway, when I first moved into the house in 2011, I didn't have a refrigerator. We moved in. We actually closed on Halloween and I moved in on November 5th, I believe, which was that Saturday. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't have a refrigerator and I didn't have the money to get it at the time. So I got a mini fridge and it was funny because I had the mini fridge where the refrigerator is now. And I would literally go to the grocery store like every two to three days because everything wouldn't fit in there. So I think I had it in the kitchen for maybe about three months until I was able to afford the refrigerator that we have now. And then I brought it in my room. Well, I don't use it anymore, you guys. It's just sitting here. I used to use it all the time to put drinks in it when I didn't want to go into the kitchen or stuff that I didn't want the kids eating because my son is a human garbage disposal. Sorry, Tyke, but you just are. But nothing's wrong with that. He was a growing boy and boys eat a lot and he had a high metabolism. So anyway, I did it, not just him. So my kids know if something's in the refrigerator, then it's fair game for everyone unless I say not. And then sometimes they would sneak and get my stuff. Anyway, so I brought it in my room and in this corner here, like I said, I'm not using it. I opened it up a few minutes ago thinking it was gonna stink inside and it didn't. There's nothing in it. There's absolutely nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to Cheyenne because she still is planning on moving out eventually. I thought it was gonna happen this year, but it's not. So she is going to move out. And I told her, I'm like, do you want a mini fridge? And she's like, yeah, I'll take it. Because if not, I was just gonna, I don't know, sell it or put it in the garage. But my garage is a hot mess. We're not even gonna get to that. I do need to have someone with a huge truck and come get all the junk out of my garage because yeah, that's where the overflow of things we don't want goes. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, and also on top of my refrigerator that I'm going to show you guys, I have my record player. It's brown, it matches nothing else in the room. I know my bed is brown and my nightstand and my dresser, but this is like a different kind of brown. So it just, it. This whole little corner is just like not cute at all. So real life, I didn't even clean anything up over there because I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, what it looks like. So ignore the bag. That's just stuff that I have to put away. That is the old record player that I bought off someone on Macari. And I actually need to throw it away because when you plug it in, it actually fizzes and the electricity like goes in and out so there's something wrong with the wiring so that's my record player on top it works fine and that's my mini fridge ignore my shoes like I said this is real life here that's the reason why I didn't put anything away or make everything look neat because that's just how it is see how I have stuff on top of my record player this little corner 
nothing matches in my room because my room is gray and white and technically okay yes the refrigerator may match but I don't want it in here anymore so what I've decided is this corner is going to be a reading corner slash my filming corner usually you guys when I film sit down videos I'm over here, but now I'm just researching everything that I can do to this little corner to make it like a reading corner, but like I said, also a filming area, and it's small, so that's the reason why I'm going to take my time, and when I find a chair that I want, measure it, make sure it fits there perfectly, that way it's not too big, and it's not overwhelmingly sticking out, and I am going to, I love that picture right there, I absolutely love it but it's not going to go with what I'm thinking of. So yeah, this whole little corner is going to change and it's not gonna happen right away because you guys know with projects, I take a while to actually execute it because I have to find exactly what's right and perfect and whatever. So I've been looking on all different kind of websites looking for the perfect chair that will go in my room that is like kind of beach theme, whatever. So just gonna be a beach theme corner. And I don't know if you guys knew my, I have bolted ceilings, so really huge ceilings. Makes the room have a bigger feel. So the brown record player that's there, I'm going to keep it, but guess what y'all? I'm gonna paint it gray and white. Yes, I am. I already researched everything on how to do that. So that way it will look good. And I actually think I'm gonna start on that pretty soon because I have the paint so I can do it. I just need a, another paintbrush. And then, yeah, get started on that. But yeah, you guys, that's my upcoming project soon. But I just wanna be able to find the perfect chair. That's my next project, you guys. Mm -hmm. 